Hello and welcome to this little quick tutorial on aligning and offsetting objects. So I was recently asked about what if I wanted to import something um, other than say a planet, which I think I did in the last lesson where I now had this little scene, which was doing video games. Now I'd spent quite a bit of time faffing to sort of make things sit where they should be. So you can see here I'd got the little screenshot of the game just proud of the cartridge itself, in this case a little video plane. But it took me a little while to get them to sit just right. So let's go into a scene and we'll look how I sort of played about with the offsets. So I'm just going to go in. Yep, I'm already in the scene edit mode, I think, there. Uh, let me just double check. Yep, I am. OK, so let's say I want to, instead of having the ET uh, screenshot, I want to have like a picture of an actual alien. So I've already grabbed a model of an alien. This is what I used for my original tests, actually. So if I drag this alien on, um, obviously that's not where I need them to be. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid for the moment and I'm going to create an empty. Um, so I'm going to create an empty and this is going to be my new ET model. Uh, I don't know if this is going to break my project, I hope it doesn't. So I'm going to drag my ET, that's just an empty. I'm going to make sure it's in the 0, 0, 0 coordinates. So when it finds a tracked image, it's this point, this, this empty, this handle, that's really going to sit where the thing actually is. So if I now drag my alien on to this, so now ET empty is a parent and the alien is the child. Um, we can see that's a little offset. So again, we're just going to zero this out as well. We can also see it's way too big. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is this is obviously how we would move the model around. But if I want to sort of play with an offset, I would move the inside bit around a little bit. Um, to sort of show this off, I, I think this should work. If I drag it over here, click on the handle point and then start to rotate we can see that's the middle, that's the handle point that it's going to come from. Uh, so I'll just undo that. Uh, I'll move that back to zero, zero coordinates, if that's going to work properly. There we go, yep. So now when I'm back on my main handle, we can still see it's not just right, so I'm going to just move it over a little bit till it's sort of the centre. Uh, it's close enough, that'll do for now. So if I was to rotate this now, it should look... Okay, you can see this rotating around the edge bit, but again, I'm not, I'm not too worried. This is something you might have to just sit and play with for the moment. I can also scale it down. So again, I'm going to scale the alien, not the ET bit. So I'm going to scale my model down quite a bit. Uh, that'll do. I'll try it slightly smaller than the cartridge. Okay, so I've now got the ET bit. Um, so now I'm going to go back onto my assets. I'm going to drag this onto the bottom. So it thinks it's now the model ET, and hopefully it's not going to clash with this ET, because I'm going to change things in a moment. Um, I'm going to go back onto, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to exit this scene, so I'm back over here, I'm going to click onto my XR origin, uh, go to my AR prefabs, and when it's looking for ET, I'm now, I'm now going to drag the new ET prefab onto it, so hopefully when it sees the cartridge, it should put an ET over there, but it's not going to be where we want it to be, because I've not aligned it or offset or scaled correctly. And... There we go, we can see, it. it I want to make it look, uh, it's, it's not quite where that should really be. So what I'm going to do is I want to make it look like it's standing on the cartridge. So I'm just going to stop the game, I'm going to come back into my edit mode of the scene itself. I'm going to click back on my alien, so we saw that it was the wrong way. So again, I'm leaving the empty completely alone, I'm clicking on my alien, the child object. I'm going to rotate this, let's come into the side view, nope, that's not it. There we go, I want to come straight to the side view and ro rotate this backwards. Oops, there we go, so it's going to look a bit like this. I'm going to move it up a little bit. I don't know if this is going to be just right. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag this back down again on top of ET, so it'll overwrite it. Uh, I'm going to try pressing play again, let's see what happens. Okay, so we can see it is now stood on the cartridge, but it's a bit to the side. So let's just come have a look from that bit. Okay, yep, yeah, it's, it's halfway along. We don't want that. So again, I'm going to press stop. I'm going to come back into this edit mode of this alien. Um, so the handle is about where its shoulders are. But if I click on the alien itself, let's move that up a bit. Um, I'm going to come to this side a little bit. I'm going to move it over a little bit. So really what I'm doing is I'm using the crosshairs of the Unity scene which you can just sort of see the crosshairs just there. So I'm moving the alien so it's base on the bottom. It's about centre. Um, so again, I'm going to click on the ET bit again, drag it down so it's overwriting the previous prefab, pressing play. I'm 
And there we go, it now looks like my little model of a character is sat on the cartridge. And again, this is what I had to do for these things as well, for these little clips. I had to spend a, uh, spend a bit of time just offsetting so they look just right. Uh, and when I did it into the real application, so uh, the actual mobile app, I had to do the same again until they looked just right. And if you look at the big, the video at the beginning of the last lesson, you can see how that looked. Okay, so that was uh, that, that's this session over. Again, if you found this useful, please like, please subscribe, leave a, comment, uh, a positive comment below. And if you've got suggestions for future videos, also leave those below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.